And welcome back to CVTV News. A lot of our community, whether in Stafford, Fredericksburg, or Spotsylvania, ride the Virginia Railway Express, mm -hmm. the VRE. It's a system that's been around for 27 years, wow. and as ridership has increased and the region has grown, the VRE, the railway system, has decided to make some changes to its northern Virginia desti destination stations, hmm. in particular the station at Crystal City. With, with continued business growth in that area and the arrival of Amazon, mm. design work on improvements is already underway. The goal is to design and construct a reconfigured station with a longer platform served by two tracks to accommodate full-length VRE trains and future bi-directional service. Mm. This will be a big improvement. Mm. Key to the new layout is an island platform that will allow passenger trains to serve Crystal City on two of the four tracks proposed in this segment of the railroad. This will improve operational efficiency, safety, definitely, mm -hmm. and reliability for both passenger and freight trains. Okay. Also, the new station will be relocated to give customers easier access to the Crystal City Metro Rail Metro uh, Station East Entrance, the Crystal City Potomac Yard Trans Transit Way, local buses and shuttles, taxi stand or kiss and ride areas, and bicycle and pedestrian facilities. Mm. Station design and construction will be coordinated with the fourth track proposed by the Virginia Department of Rail and Public Transportation's DC to Richmond project. The station design will not preclude a future extension of the south entrance into the intermodal connector between Crystal City and Ronald Reagan mm. Washington National Airport. Funding for this project is being provided by the Northern Virginia Transportation Authority, Rail Enhancement Fund, Virginia Department of Rail and Public Transportation, and Federal uh, State of Good Repair Funds. It's very wow. encouraging. I'm, yeah. For all of us that have to, well, not me, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of us do. All right. It's a topic that is dividing the community, or at least it seems to be. On December 17th, 2019, the Stafford Board of Supervisors will take up a resolution to give Stafford County the status of being a Second Amendment Sanctuary County. The gist of the proposal is that the resolution passed, the Stafford County government would expand spend no resources to enforce laws enacted by the legislature that limit Second Amendment rights. With the election of a Democratic majority in the Virginia General Assembly, Assembly, many Second Amendment advocates are worried that certain legislation, as yet only proposals and not legislation, might impact their right to keep and bear arms. The debate in Stafford has already become intense. Some have argued that waiting to see what legislation actually comes out of Richmond is a better tact. But that hasn't been the direction this movement has taken. Neighboring boards of supervisors, such as Spotsylvania and Caroline counties, are considering such proposals and recently the King George Board of Supervisors unanimously approved a Second Amendment sanctuary resolution. However, while the movement is popular, it's not clear just what legal status as counties in the state have in, have in making and enacting such resolutions. Hmm. The law is always a little more complex than people realize. Yes, it is. All right, well, we're going to take a look and have Kara tell us what the weather's going to be like for this weekend. Kara, what do you got for us? Snow, Ooh, cold. Cold and snow. Hi, I'm Kara Colucci with CVTV Weekend Weather, and here is your update for the second weekend in December. We've only got a few weeks left until the big holidays are coming up. So, what's in store for us this weekend with the weather? Well, on Friday, it is going to rain majority of the day. There is a, a chance of some freezing rain in the wee hours of Friday morning, so that should have already passed by the time you see this. But on Friday, we are looking at highs in the low 40s. Occasional rain all throughout the day. Doesn't look to be a whole lot better on Saturday because we're going to see some of those raindrops carry on through into Saturday morning. Going to stay cloudy majority of the day on Saturday, but it will be a slight heat wave as we are looking at highs in the low 50s, so a 10 degree increase. And if you're looking for something to do on Saturday, you can always check out Mountain View's production 
of a Christmas pageant that will be performed at 2 p.m. and at 7 p.m. So make sure that you check that out as well this weekend. On Sunday, we are looking at highs in those low 50s one more time. And sun will be peeking through, but it will stay kind of kind of cloudy and a little bit breezy on Sunday as well. I'm Kara Colucci with CBTV Weekend Weather. Make it a great week.